Welcome to The Teapot Reads. I'm The Teapot, this is what I'm currently reading, and I'm so happy to see you today. sure it's going to work. Why? Because it is a Simon Snow book. This is, this is any way the wind blows. It is here. I am excited. I am terrified. I cannot wait. And I am going to read it in 24 hours. No ifs, ands, or buts. I'm going to do it. I'm off tomorrow. I'm starting tonight. I'm going to update you guys every hour. I think it's going to work because when I read the original two books, like I read it right around the time book two came out, it was when I had just started working at Barnes and Noble. And I managed to, even though I was working, still read them in a day each. And I honestly think I can do it with this chunker. It's big, but it's not that big. These books flow really easy for me. The style of writing works well for me. I am really excited for this one. Like I have been waiting. So, um, I'm really, I, I have little else to say. Um, this is a non-spoiler vlog. I'm not gonna spoil anything, at least nothing important. I will probably say things like, oh, I'm at the scene where, if you read it, like, Baz puts on a blue scarf. Like, I don't know. But you know, like enough so like, if you've read it, or if you're planning to read it, you'll like, I, you'll be able to like have touchstones. Um, yes. I'm going to, like I said, update you every hour. My goal is to, um, to finish it from an hour from now. So that means reading approximately 23 chapters every four hours. So tonight before uh, tomorrow, I think it'd be really nice to tonight finish the first 23 chapters. I lose concentration and focus the later it gets into the night. So I think like the key is like starting now and um, and getting like a decent head start. I don't have a lot to do tomorrow. I am really just gonna be chilling with Tank, which speaking of Tank, he'll be sleeping in my bed tonight. So you'll probably see him in this vlog uh, in the next hour or so. Um, but yes, it's it's all about reading and I, I'm, I'm so excited. I think I really need this book. I think it's gonna help reset, refresh the, my reading and just energy for reading and all that. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm putting it off. I'm excited. Let, let's go. Let's go. I'm at the part um, where Simon ordered pad thai. Um, so I just finished chapter 12. Um, I... If you watch my other reading vlogs, you know I, I have been going through a lot mental health wise. And it feels really, really fucking raw to read this book right now. Um, um, the, the way Simon is thinking and acting and internalizing um, is very parallel to myself <laughs> um, and I felt this in, in book two 
and I think I forgot how strongly I felt it and I think it's even more prevalent in this one. So I feel very raw <laughs> while reading this and I don't think that's necessarily good. Um, I, I'm go I like, I don't dislike the book for it, it's just I already am um, feeling a lot. Um, I sort of feel like, you know how you feel when you know you're going to cry? You can kind of feel it in your chest. That's how I feel in my chest and in my head um, right now. And I'm, I'm only 50 pages in, um, but that's how I'm feeling. I think I'm gonna go get my dog. <laughs> There's a lot going on in the story so far. I wasn't expecting to have this much thrown in at the beginning, but there's a lot and I am really curious about all the plot threads and I'm curious how they're all gonna tie together and braid together. I'm excited. I, I really hope it gets pulled off. Um, I'm a little nervous that they won't because there is so much going on. I also wanna say, don't, if you bought the Barnes & Noble edition, don't look at the back inside, um, inside cover art, inside back cover art, because I looked at it and I'm like, oh, well, I can already tell that's a spoiler, <laughs> so, um, warning about that, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get the dog because I just need some, I just need some puppy right now, I think. Okay, good morning. I didn't get that much writing done, like, writing? <laughs> I didn't get that much reading done last night because I think I mentioned the dog went to bed with me and when the dog is ready to go to bed, he needs the lights completely off or he will just be very annoying. Like he'll whine and chew on you. Um, he's, he's a little bit of a diva and a very sensitive sleeper. So I didn't get that much reading done. Like I didn't hit my goal, which was to get the first uh, 23 chapters done, but I did get onto chapter 14. And I feel pretty good about that, especially because it only took me about an hour and a half-ish to get there. So my goal is before lunchtime today to get to chapter 47. So basically get about halfway through the book. Totally think I can manage it. I don't have that much going on today. I am um, going to quickly have some breakfast and read and... There you go, buddy. We started using the like puppy bells, so he'll like nudge those when he wants to go out. They're super helpful. Um, but I'm going to uh, have some breakfast, eat, that's the same thing, read, and then I'm going to take a bath. Uh, the only things I really need to get done today, I want to do a little bit of writing. Uh, I need to do a little bit of work on uh, some YouTube videos <sighs> that's not this one and that's that's pretty much it I don't have that much I'll probably reach out to some friends to just like make some plans because it's been a little bit but uh, otherwise yeah so today's all about reading and I'm very excited to just like dive into it and I'm ready to just like rip my heart apart which I know it's going to happen but I am also really banking on a happy ending um, I don't think it'll be upsetting like I don't think it, it could be bittersweet but I think in the end it will be happy just because otherwise the messaging of the book will be like very strange to me because I'm pretty sure it's going to be a story about healing or god I hope it is um I don't really want an exercise in misery but we'll see I'll, I'll keep you guys updated I'll keep you updated but no spoilers of course I'm now in chapter 26 um I just got through <laughs> the part with the miniatures emotionally wise i feel like i've been through the worst of it at least for now i think um i mean a lot has resolved already like in this book and i, I guess resolved isn't the right answer or the right answer the right word but it's already come to points that feel like resolution or near resolution um I wasn't expecting the book to start having those points so early in it, but I really appreciate that it did because it's now paving the way for a storyline I wasn't expecting and didn't see coming, and I am really, really curious to see how it happens, how it goes down. I think the plot, we're just about to get into the meat of it, 
based off of um, where we left Simon and Baz. Uh, so I think I'm, I'm excited to see what's going to go down. Also, the like first chapter is hasn't been like touched on yet, so I really want to see resolution to that. Um, one of the major things that I have complaints about from the first two books has been dealt with in a very satisfying manner. I'm really happy about that. It was something that bothered me and I wasn't gonna write it off um, until like I found I got to the final book in the series because I was like there's still time and I'm really I'm I'm pleased with how the thing is being handled. Uh, I don't know if everyone will be pleased but similarly to how I said Simon's thought process parallel mine this thing this resolution of issue parallels my own thoughts regarding said thing I I don't want to spoil it but I'm I'm gonna go I think have a snack I don't want to order out I have leftovers I really want to have that for lunch but I'm already getting peckish so I think if I have a snack now I will not be as eager to like order out food and we'll be like okay yeah leftovers which are a little lighter will be okay so I'm gonna go do that do some more reading still want to hit the halfway part by about like 12 31 lunchtime that's my goal I th think I can do it uh, I've pretty much only read today and it's been great I get no regrets no regrets I haven't done this in such a long time it feels very refreshing and like healing and doing it and knowing I don't have that much to do other than read is also really great and just refreshing you know so first things first the dog just learned how to jump on the couch freaked me out um second of all the goats I'm I'm so invested I'm so invested at this point like I was before but like I'm, re I'm ready I'm loving it I'm ready I'm ready um, also just uh, oh, chapter 33 I'm on chapter 42 and I've I've gotten very close to crying several times because I know I said this book was very um, raw at the beginning and it is still very raw but it is also turning out to feel very healing I'm hesitant to say that but like it um, it's saying a lot of things and I'm um, I'm a reader who can or who does just naturally sort of impose themselves on the character very very closely and it can be like a, a problem sometimes like if a character is not in a good mood I'll be in a bad mood you know and I don't always realize when it's happening. I am very easily emotionally connected to characters. I'm very easily triggered by characters. Um, and there are things being said in this book, and they're obviously not to me, you know, me myself, but I, I've been imposed so close against a character that it feels very um, encouraging, I guess. This, um, this book is, it's hurting but it's also healing, I think. I'm on chapter 56. The most iconic line so far has been, can you bleed faster? Um, Shep is giving me just so much anxiety. <laughs> um, I think that's the big one. <laughs> I think that's the big one. He's just giving me a lot of anxiety. Um, unrelated, I think it is going to storm and I'm really hoping it storms because I really need to get thunderstorm and I will delight in reading this while it thunderstorms. Dear feckin' Lars, <laughs> Shepherd, <laughs> you foolish person. <gasps> I love you. I'm very comfortable so I don't want to get up to film this. Um, I'm on chapter 64. I am just about right on track, which is very exciting. 
Now I just need to power through. Um, I had one more thing I wanted to get done today. I don't know if I'm gonna do it, but that's fine. I don't, I don't think I've talked about how much I like Agatha's character. I think about it. I think she's one of the best, like, characters in the book. Um, and also just, like, you don't see a lot of characters like her in, um, in, in YA, especially female characters. She reminds me a bit of, like, Nesta, uh, sort of. Um, I really like Agatha. I think she's a great character. I also really like Fiona. I wasn't sure how I felt about she's not really in book two. Wasn't sure how I felt about her in book one. She was just kinda like a side character. And she's still like a side character in this one. Um, but I think I firmly am on the side of I like Fiona. She's a fun side character. I wish there were more well rounded side characters like her. She's like running around having her own just stuff going on and it's like it overlaps, but not really. Um so I really like Fiona. Uh, some things in the book have already been concluded, which is very surprising since I still have like a fourth of the book left. Concluded well, like I feel very satisfied with them, but I was like, oh, wasn't expecting this to be resolved so quickly. Totally into it, I think it's great. So far the book is landing on like every mark. We'll see if it sticks the landing because it's got a lot it's setting up for, but if it does, this is a this is a pretty solid book. It's it's really really sticking the landing. All right, I am officially on chapter seventy nine. I have not that much left. Like I'm so close. I'm so close to finishing it. I am loving it. It's really good. I will say, um, at this point, I feel like pretty much everything except maybe like two things have been wrapped up. So I don't know where it's going to go in the next, like, there's at least 50 pages left. There's like more than 50 pages left. Um, so I don't really know where it's going. Um, a little concerned about that. I have this thing about endings that go on too long. Although I will say the like event that just finished happening felt a little rushed. So... I'm guessing it's a red herring to what's going to come, but, um, but we'll see. I probably won't update on the dot for my next update, uh, because my dad will be home and we'll probably be figuring out what dinner is, but I should, I should definitely be done in the 24 hours that I set for myself and I'm so excited. I'm like, I feel like I'm jinxing myself by saying that, but I will say it feels incredibly rewarding to have been able to not only reach this goal, but to just spend the whole day reading. I haven't done that in so very long. It's been so long. It is ridiculous that I've just finished this book. I need to like sit with it a little bit. Um, the time is and I did it, I did a 24 hour reading vlog. I'm gonna film like a proper outro um, in a little bit. Oh, actually probably tomorrow after I've sat with the book for a little bit, but oh my God. Wow, um, I really liked it. Initial thought is like five stars. There were some slightly disappointing things. And by that I just mean there were things that I wish more attention had been paid to. Um, not that it was done in a bad way, but that like it felt like it could have been a little better, but they were minor enough that they don't really impact the weight of the story. I think the story is still really good. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say five stars. I am really pleased with the ending. I am really pleased with a lot of this book. It was very healing, very therapeutic, therapeutic, therapeutic in a lot of ways. I. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like there are enough holes that someday another novel might be written in this world. Do we need them? No, but I think that it could happen. There are still like enough holes, well, enough questions that aren't necessarily questions. Um, it was good. It was really satisfying. It was a satisfying conclusion. 
uh, all the same. I think I will be doing a full review, a full spoiler review at some point. I'm not going to like guarantee it, but I, I have a feeling I will be. So you can look forward to that. It's good. It's good. I'd recommend it. I don't know I'd recommend reading it all in one day. It was a good experience, but I think it's also a book that would be really good to let just sit with you as you read it. Um, I will also probably be rereading it again. I would love to read all three books back to back to back and experience them like that. Um, but that's definitely not gonna be this year and probably not next year. Yeah, five stars. Five stars. Well done. My final thoughts. Like I said, five stars. Love this book. I am not even like a full day away from it. I think I've sat with it enough though to be like my final, final thoughts. Uh, number one. Overall, this book is super healing. I haven't felt this good walking out of a book, let alone walking out of a finale for a series in a very long time. I was not only satisfied by the book and the decisions made, but as like a reader, it affected me on such a positive level, uh, not only because I like managed to finish a book in a day, which is a t something I haven't been able to do in many months when I used to be able to do it easily all the time, um, and also because, and I don't want to spoil things, but it is a net positive ending and the way it gets to that ending was very focused on the mental health and the well-being of characters. And while I think that is something important in a lot of stories, this book really takes it to another level. And I think some people will find that annoying. I think some people will find it almost too much attention paid, but I personally really needed that. Like I said earlier in the vlog, I really graft myself onto characters when I'm reading. So seeing characters on a healing journey and on this healing curve have really helped me and motivated me to really take better care of myself, even in small ways. Like today I made a cup of tea, I washed my face. I haven't done either of those things in weeks. It's been too long. And yeah, just seeing characters on a healing curve have really helped and motivated me. So like on a meta personal level, I really, really appreciate this book for that. Number two, it reads more like fan fiction than any of the other books. And again, I think this is something some readers are gonna take offense to or not like. I personally read a lot of fan fiction. I personally really like fan fiction. I think there's nothing wrong with it. Like to me, it's a compliment when you're like, oh, this book reads like fan fiction. Like, no, I don't think I want like Pride and Prejudice to read like fan fiction. I want it to read like Austin, but but the Simon Snow books read like fan fiction and it's great. And while they do all have that aspect, I mean, they started as like a fake fan fiction concept. This one has the most, and I think that ties into the mental health of the characters and just how much focus is spent on it. I don't see a lot of contemporary, not this is like contemporary setting, but you know, like modern YA novels focusing this directly on it. Like there are some, and I think they take it, but I feel like they take a much darker look at it. At least in my experience, I could totally be wrong and I would love to be proved wrong, but the way it just sort of handles it and the way that it is very blunt about it without being dark about it is something that really reminded me of fan fiction. Obviously there is more things in here that remind me of fan fiction, but that was actually the number one thing and not the relationship. Number three, there are so many quotable moments in here. I plan fully to reread this trilogy cover to cover to cover, you know, like back to back to back. I wish a little bit I had been keeping track of all the quotable moments in here, but at the same time, I think a lot of them are spoilers and I didn't want to share them in this video because this is a spoiler free video, but there are just, there'll be lines that just like made me start weeping because of how beautiful and tender and sincere they were so yeah and like it is a well-written novel but i think these like lines just they come at you and you just want to hold them against your heart and tattoo them on your body and not let go and i think that was really wonderful really wonderful Number four, downfalls. There are some missteps, I think, in this book. Not enough to ruin the book or the story or to make me think that it's a worse book for it. I think it had a lot to tackle. I feel like sometimes it was not balancing too much, but had so much going on that the weight paid attention to each thing was not necessarily equal to what I think it deserved. That being said, everything was pretty much tackled and everything did have weight. It's not like something was made unimportant. And I think also some of the like threads or the ones that didn't get as deep an understanding as I would have liked, I think those things 
they're kind of left open because this is a bigger world. Like hopefully it's because someday we might get another novel in this series. Please, please, <laughs> please. But also just because the world is big, it is, you know, supposed to be set in our world and we don't have answers to everything, you know? So I thought that was okay. I think uh, takeaway, it's okay to have some of these things just not get as much explanation or emphasis as they deserved. Number five, would I recommend this book? Yes, I know a lot of people complained about book two. I actually started reading them right around when book two came out. So I didn't have like that huge weight before book two. Book two is certainly disappointing in a lot of ways, especially compared to book one, which feels like a full novel. Book two feels a little bit, not a little bit, book two feels a lot like a setup for this book. This book is very much responding to not necessarily the events of book two, but the mental states of every character in book two. This is responding to them and bringing things full circle. And you couldn't just go from like book one to book three. And I think you do need that really slim book two to give us an idea of where the characters are. If this was like a TV show, I would say book two is like one episode maybe two episodes, but not a full season. This feels like a full season, if that makes sense. They definitely feel like it, like separate stories, but not so separate that you couldn't go right from book two into book three. I think that's probably the best way to read them. If you were waiting to read this series for book three to come out, read it now. It's perfect. All three will be beautiful together. You will have so much fun, especially now that there's a hardcover copy of book one with the matching Kevin Wada covers. So yeah, like, do it, do it. If you were even considering it for a little bit, do it. This is a good series for people who are fans of fantasy and people who aren't fans of fantasy. I think it really bridges that gap. It is, I think, predominantly a romance with some fantasy elements. That's rigged right now, so just, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I can only recommend it. I think it's great. But that, that is it. That is it for me for thoughts. I, uh, I really liked it. I think I will be doing a full spoiler review later on. I don't know how soon it's going to get up post this video. I have to collect all my thoughts. There's so much I want to say about it because it was so good. I wish I could go and reread it like immediately. I just do not have the time. I'm gonna go back to my main read which has been Empire of the Vampire but this was a really great reprieve. It's very healthy for me I think and just has done a lot for me and I don't I always come out of books and I'm like, it changed me, right? If it's a good book, it changed me in some way. And this one had just like net positive, net positive for me. So this is where I leave you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking around. Are you planning to read this book? Have you read this book? Can we talk about this book down in the comments? Please don't post any spoilers. I think I've done a good job not spoiler spoiling anything for the series. I worked hard not to spoil anything big for the series so please don't post spoilers down below um but let's let's see if we can talk about this book because it was so damn good okay it was so good five stars um one of one of my favorite books of the year I can already tell but like I said thank you for watching thank you for sticking around I hope you are doing well if it is cold where you're at I hope you're staying warm and if it is warm where you're at I hope you're staying comfortable but most of all I hope you're reading a wonderful book I will see you next time. Bye-bye.